Hello and welcome to video 48.5 of this series for beginners programming in C. The reason it's 48.5 is because, to be honest, I did video 49, which is the next video, forgetting that I'd said that at the end of the last video we'd have a very quick look at writing data to, or characters to file, character by character. Completely forgot, so I called it 48.5 and that's what we have here. So. We're in the same situation where we were really last video and all this code that's here now should be uh, familiar to you. We're opening a file called text. We're now specifying the W because we want to just overwrite whatever's in there and write to the file. I've defined an integer index which you'll see we're going to use in a for loop shortly. We've got num, single for a single character and the word cat again. And now we've got pointer to file if it's not null, close the file, otherwise print file not found. And at the moment the program does not a lot, it creates an empty text file for us. And I also have inside my file browser the 48.5 executable and also the code here, no text file yet. So to write uh, it's, it's characters, it's the same as uh, f get c, except we use f put c. And there can be a little gotcha with this, which is why we've defined the integer num as 40 here, just to show you uh, a little gotcha with this. So to actually write to the file is very, very easy. Simply going to say f put c, which means pump one character. And the arguments for this are to have an integer and then the stream. But the integer will then be converted into a character and then written to the stream. So if I say let's write single, which is our capital C, and then we also want the stream, which is P to file. This will write the C to our file. Now, if I then want to write the word after this, you have to remember I want to write first of all a space, because it's a single character. And now, when I want to write the whole word, remember I'm writing character by character. So, what I'll actually want to do is say for index equals naught, which it already is index is less than 4 and plus plus index and then I'll use index to access the writing of the particular file in the my word array so I'll just put my word and then index here and this will write then the word to the file and once I've done that I can then close the file and everything is okay so just off screen, I'm just going to compile that quickly and make sure there are no errors, and there don't seem to be. And now I'm going to run the program, which won't be very spectacular. But what that has done is create inside here a text file, which I can just quickly open. And you can see that we've now got the C and the cat inside the file. Very good. What happens, though, if we decide to put in our write our num to file? So we'll take our num in this way and have a think about what you think might think might happen here. Obviously it's not what's expected, otherwise I wouldn't be questioning it. But if I now just go back to the terminal and compile the program again and run the program again, and let's have a look what we have now inside our text. And you can see that we actually have an open bracket and then the C and the cat. And the reason is, is because f put C has taken the ASCII value of this because it's writing a character remember so it's simply taken 40 and written the character represented by 40 which is the open bracket so when you're writing stuff using f put c by this way remember it's assuming that you're taking a character in here and writing the character for the argument rather than the uh, integer itself. It's argument that it takes in the function definition is an integer but obviously when you supply a character say in this format of a space or an A or something the character is converted to an integer which it, it, it is the integer representation that sent as an argument to the function. Here we're directly sending an integer 40 which turns out as an open bracket. But otherwise there's not much really to remember and you might be wondering why you might you would use f put c rather than using fprintf as we did in the previous. Well, it depends whether what kind of character array or data you're writing to a text file. You might want to specifically analyze all of that data character by character to decide whether you want to write something to the file or not, for example. And it can often be easier to do it looping through all your characters and using then fputsy.
Okay, so that's a short and sweet video, but it's the last one I think on writing and reading text. I won't bother doing an append for S put C, so I'm sure you can imagine how that's done here with uh, an, 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 an A instead of the W. And in the next videos, you'll see in 49, we start looking at uh, writing data, binary data into files. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.